Hello, 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 it's Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrapping on the Go. This process video is for Mini Kit Monday with Becky, Daisy, Kathy, Shannon, Tracy, and myself. All right, you should be seeing a mood inspiration piece that Daisy put together for us for the month of September. And she is our host for the month of September. And what does that mean? That means that she's the one that will be either putting together a curated kit or sending a gift card for those that play along with us over at our Facebook group. You get entries for snapping a photograph of your kit that you put together using the inspiration piece or not using the inspiration piece. Okay, it doesn't matter. You don't have to use the inspiration piece to participate over at our Facebook group site, which the link is listed below in the description box. All right, so you want to upload your a picture of your kit that you put together to the September album. You want to try to create at least three layouts all right, from your kit and post them over into the September album. That'll give you four entries. Now, I'm sure you're saying, just show us your kit, Dolly. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with my papers first for kit number one. I have this beautiful Kaiser Craft paper right here. It does not have a year on it. It does say it's Paisley Day's collection and it's called Soul. I don't know what year. Again, I'm using the mood inspiration piece that Daisy provided us and we have that color of that kind of a orangey um, mustard color and that green and that's what I'm playing off on this page kit. All right, so I'm taking a flower pattern with a smaller wonky dot and this paper is from simple stories and it's called faith and then hope and this was released in 2017 now this side is very similar to the colors in here and it would work great with this paper it would not these two would not work you cannot put this flower pattern paper and this one together. Okay, now you could use this side, this tone, believe it or not, and we have two different manufacturer, Kaiser Craft, and, or no, I don't know if they're different manufacturer, designers, um, Kaiser Craft, and this um, pinky coral color matches this. So you could use the opposite side and this works great together but I'm using it like this with this green, all right? And then I'm gonna just go ahead and show the photographs. These are zoo photographs that I'm gonna document. So this is just one section that we were in at the zoo. So that's why I'm pairing these four photographs up together. Here are some embellishments that I pre-selected, pulling out some of the color here of um, this mustard color. This um, kind of uh, muted red also goes perfect with my paper selection here. And also the kind of um, light turquoise with green lettering. So this alpha works perfect. I have some butterflies and then I have a bag that I could use but it also is holding my goodies. I've got a lot of green and the mustard yellow and I also have this ri ribbon here, this green ribbon as well that I pulled from my stash. So I will put all of this together like this and I will put it in this plastic bag. Oops. I'm recycling, reusing my plastic bags from close to my heart. I'm a consultant, so I have lots of these bags. Here's All right, page so kit I... number two. 
All right, so we have this photograph and you'll have to come back when I create this layout and I'll tell you the story behind it. Here are my embellishments that I pre-selected. It's pretty skimpy, I'll have to admit. And this is a prime example. I will get this used up and if I feel I need more embellishments, guess what? It's a-okay to go looking in your stash for more. But when you're putting your kits together, that I, the idea is to use what's in your kit first, okay? Use what's in your kit first. It's using up your products and it's challenging you to stay focused using what you put in your kit, all right? But of course, it, when you put your kit together, maybe your creative mind was going in a different direction and then when you sat down to do your layout, you're like, oh, what was I thinking? This isn't gonna work. Then you know what? Move on. It's okay, you can break the rules. Go back, go through your stash and find what will work, all right? So I did pre-select some alpha words and I have three six by six papers and I have this black scrap scrap and I have two 12 by 12 sheets. This one is from Amy Tan Tangerine called Slice of Life and this was released in 2019. Again, I'm I'm going by the color scheme within the mood inspiration piece. That's the opposite side, which is also part of that mood inspiration piece. So I can flip it over and use it this way, which that looks beautiful. So I'm showing you that I put a kit together here. Either side will work and it will also work with the papers that I selected. My embellishments, either side will work to document this memory. So you can think about that when you're putting your kit together. So that one's done. And like I said, my embellishments are light on this one. And that's just because when I was putting this kit together, I like to move along because if I get stuck, I mean, and I will stay stuck unless I said, nope, this is what you've got. So now let's move on. And when you sit down to start creating, you can grab additional embellishments. All right, here's kit number three. And if you notice, I've kind of had, I started off with like a mid brightness and then I went to a real fun brightness and now I'm going to like a more um, neutral. But if you look at that mood inspiration piece, all the colors are coming from that mood inspiration piece. And it looks like I kind of have this upside down. All right, so I have embellishments here. I have a photograph here of my husband and his brother. In this one, I put washi tape. This one, I have a seven by eight. And then I have five six by six papers. And I cannot tell you the collections at all. Um, this is One Canoe Two. I'm trying to think which one that is. I don't know. They, they're not in paper pads anymore because the paper pads fell apart, so I don't know but that really doesn't matter. I'm just going by the mood, feel, color tone, patterns, and putting it together. And then I selected two 12 by 12 papers. This is My Mind's Eye called My Story. And this is a 2015, so this paper is five years old. Now, this one, I can't use A and B. I don't think I'm gonna, I mean, I guess I pause. oh, I could, I could use, I don't know about the B on that side, but it would not work with the six by six paper. So this paper, oh no, that would not work. This is like a graduation paper on one side. 
and I don't know what year the print. This is a 2018 from DCWV. So I'm pretty much stuck with that side, which goes perfect on this side, but I could use that side. And that would brighten this layout up, but the mood and feel is perfect for this side. Washi tape. All right, I have all my embellishments in here. And now you'll notice on this one, I just couldn't stop pulling embellishments. So I have a lot of embellishments going on here. Lots of die cut pieces. I have some metal pieces, another metal piece. Um, uh, chipboard, wood button. I've got flowers here. So see, that's where I'm talking about. When you're putting it together, it may just all, you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then others, you're like, oh, I don't know. You get to that point, just move on. Because when you come back to it, I'll guarantee you, then it, it's going to click. All right. That's, at least that's what's happened to me in the past. Is when I come back to it, I'm like, oh yeah, this will work. Oh yeah, that'll work. Oh, I should, I should have gotten this color out. So that's kit number three. I appreciate you all for stopping by and supporting our channel and supporting our Facebook group site. If you are not a member, please hop on over there to the Facebook group site, answer a couple of questions, and we'll get you approved. Have a fabulous week. Keep coming back and show us some love by giving us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye.